can tell Paul's in Mexico because of the <laughs> sepia tone. I know. I don't know. I, I, I know. I have, to, I have to figure this out. I have. I do have a webcam. I could. Yeah, it's I more. I think it's is that that sunshine hitting your face. Yeah, That's and it's uh, it, yeah. I yellow. Know. The problem really? is I'm using the built-in webcam, which honestly is very high quality. It's just that I don't have any way to control the anything like in the quality or whatever. So, how you doing? Just living the dream. Yep. <laughs> Live in the dream. I know the feeling. You know what my dream includes, Paul? No. That Copilot would take up more pixels when I open it. Yes. I think the problem with Copilot is it's not in my face enough. We need to establish a new metric. So we have DPI or dots per inch. We are going to go to CPI, <laughs> which CPI. is Copilots, Copilots per inch. I like it. And um, yeah, Microsoft <laughs> said based on customer feedback or something like that, we've made it bigger so that when you open it up, it now shoves everything even further over. I swear to God, it, all you need is like one person to, you know, to say oh, yeah, they yeah. need this. And then I'm like, yeah, well, you know, based on customer feedback. And that one person is, is the developer's uncle. <laughs> so I'm super <laughs> excited that... Uh, this woman, this woman who was a vice corporate vice president of Microsoft, right? Mm-hmm. Shilpa uh, Ranganathan, I, I hope I'm not butchering that, is has tweeted for the second time in a year and um, about this, mm-hmm. you know. But unfortunately, <laughs> as is typically the case with this group, uh, it's uh, super unclear what's happening, right? It says Windows Copilot now launches in an expanded window to give you more space. So naturally, with the, you know, all the journalistic integrity that I have, I tried it and it doesn't. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow. so, yeah, no so I, I, I look for Windows updates. I did all the store updates. I rebooted the computer. I tried it on all of the computers I have here. I can't get this thing to expand. So what does the word now mean? <laughs> and then it occurred to me as actually, literally I was finished writing the post I was going to make. Mm-hmm. And I, and, and I just said, look, I, I tried it and I can't get it to work. And then it occurred to me, it's the Windows team. It's probably going to roll out in a like a dev channel build this week. Mm. But of course, this person just went to Twitter and it's like, hey, it's it's available. <laughs> and it's like, no, it isn't. Yeah, it's it, available. It could be because I'm, in my, I, I, I'm in Mexico, right? <laughs> yeah. This is it could be that I, I should. I, I think I mentioned that in the post, but maybe that's why. Mm-hmm. Have you seen it? Like, have you gotten it to work? Have you no. tried it? Yeah. I don't know, Brad. No, I mean, I'm, I'm doing it right now on this yeah. device, and it's... Yeah, sure. Just sitting there the same as everything. I mean, I'm not... I guess I like full transparency is I'm not really sure what I'm looking for other than less space to do my actual job. Yeah, uh, so the things to look for, there's an additional little icon on the top. It looks like a little sidebar kind of icon that uh, I think, believe will let you toggle between sizes. Uh, and also, you can grab handle the side of it and drag it to resize it. Uh, as huh. I'm imagining it because I haven't experienced it, but that's my... I, the button thing is real. I oh, I can. Thing. Oh, you can. Oh, I, I well, I can it. resize it. Uh, okay, so I can't do that. Let me let me let me, let me, let me, let me try this again. Get that thing out of the way. No, I still can't do it. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Oh, hmm. what's this though? Oh no, that's different. Open in there. So mine is. Um, this is actually a different icon up there now that wasn't there yesterday. That's not the button I was referring to, and it says "Open in Edge." I've not seen that before. So that's new. So actually that did change. Let me see. Mm-hmm. No, I still can't drag it. So if you can and I can't, I'm guessing it's because I'm in Mexico. Mm-hmm. Have you checked your fax machine? Little known fact, Paul gets his new builds uh, faxed to him. Because yeah, well, it's Mexico. faster than the internet here. So, you know, you got to do what you got to do. I, I, don't know am, to I am. You're resizing. So mm-hmm. it, look at the top right of the thing, the, of the pane or whatever. This should be like a close button. Hold on, can I move I, this thing? See, this is this is where. <laughs> Can I move, move it to the goes. display behind me? I don't think that's one of the things yet, right? They don't support. Me. Oh well, actually, that's I can make true. that a primary display. Right. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see here, Paul. If we this this, there's no way that this backfires. Um. I just thought of three ways. Um. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Identify, so this is one. So I'm ooh, gonna ooh, make ooh. that external display. Mm-hmm. Make this my main display. Yep. There we go. Oh, you I saw it briefly. 
Okay, now where the hell's my mouse? That's the well, thing. Now we have to use some form of dexterity. Like, first of all, change the view so it's just you, so we can actually see it. Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, so it's wider. That's wider. So I oh, can't see the I top of the, the because of the camera angle, I can't, we can't see the top. But the top right corner, there should be like a dot, 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 and then the X, but also between it, a little icon. Yeah, look at you. There you go. So I bet it is US Bay. I, okay. All right. All right. All right. I would think, I think that's what it was. Yeah. Okay. Maybe look like at that. Somewhere where it is. Like, yeah. Nice. Is there, but is there the icon I've been talking about in the top right? It looks like a little rectangle with a line through it. when it's cold out. This is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yep. You get it all today, folks. All right. There you go. Now, but I uh, asked her on uh, Twitter, I said, can you explain the mechanism that provides this update? Is it through Windows Update? Is it through the store? Like, what what makes it update? Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't think we're going to hear back on that one. Well, can. maybe it's a good sign that this person is now tweeting. Or maybe she will go into hibernation again for a year. I don't know. She seems nice. She is nice. I actually know Sheila. Well, oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, okay. in the same way we all know all these Microsoft people. I've met her before and... <clears throat> if you've yeah. drinks or something i can't remember it's there's a lot of people at microsoft if you're not aware i think over two hundred thousand. yeah it's a couple yeah so. just a... <laughs> oh my god yep yep anyways so there's that yep google made some more money which is um mm -hmm. i think one Ooh. of the more interesting thing was is actually how popular youtube tv has become uh in terms of comparing it to what is it like traditional services if you will so you'll appreciate this as a parent um you know nope, wrong button. <laughs> with the holidays coming up um over the holidays we subscribed youtube tv temporarily mm -hmm. so that across thanksgiving and then christmas when my son was home if he wanted to watch football we would have tv because we don't normally have any tv mm -hmm. And then I thought, well, let's keep it active through the Super Bowl, just yeah. in case, you know. Um, this thing costs before taxes, I think it's $75 a month, oh. 78, something like that. It's expensive. So we paid for three or four months of YouTube TV. My son watched approximately 11 minutes of football. And uh, it doesn't work here in Mexico. So even if I wanted to watch it here, I don't think I could. Although I'm going to try a VPN thing just to yeah, see if VPN I can. We, have a, solve that. we do have a place we're going to go to. So you can do the math on that little uh, thing. I, so this is, like, this is like what parenting means is you spend uh, 450. No, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, about 200 and something to $300, whatever I said. I can't remember numbers anymore. Um, you know, so my son can watch 11 minutes of, uh, you know, TV because I want to accommodate the child as a parent, you know, like that's mm -hmm. what you do. So that's why YouTube TV makes so much money, Brad, because there are people like me who um, feel like just throwing money at Google for some reason every month and then never using the service that they get. So I don't know what the figure was. Was it 10 million or 8 million? Something? It was 8 million. 8 million. <clears throat> I mean... This thing has to, is it US? It must be US only, right? It's, it's gotta be. It's gotta be right. Um, honestly, in the scope of uh, the size of the country, I don't know what the number of like households is. I know it's 350 million something mm -hmm. people, but it, but in like, what's the household number? That's honestly not too bad. No. Like that's a, you know, for a streaming service, that's mm -hmm. frankly no less expensive than cable TV. I mean, really? I'll remind everybody who's listening to this, there mm -hmm. is another option, although it's not nearly as convenient, but it is a one-time fee. It's called yeah. an HD Home Run. Right. I use it. Uh, I made the, <clears throat> not even the investment, but took the time to actually run an antenna that now is outside. Yeah. You know what I'm thinking? This is it's Mexico, so good. I could run a um, like a TV station quality antenna off the top of this building. A, yep. nobody would say anything, and B, the regulations probably wouldn't disallow it. <laughs> Point it toward the closest place in Texas or California, whatever it is, mm -hmm. and probably get local TV here too, <laughs> honestly. Um and that would probably be less, uh, well, yeah. uh, I guess I, technically, I guess I could get TV here. No, of course I can. I don't know. Yeah, it's whatever. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that I would still happily pay for, but will never exist, yeah. is one singular app. 
just one app. This is the qualifier that I could watch every single NFL game on. So I just open one thing and I can see any game at any time during the NFL season. You are, you are like, I, a, fu- I, dude, you're I like think- a futurist. I, I, the problem is what gets in the way of that is NFL licensing. Oh, I know. It's an, and, it's uh, <laughs> spaghetti. It's just, you know, it'll never I don't happen. Know what, right. I mean, uh, there should be a, uh, a tier of the NFL TV app or whatever it's called yeah. that passes through the licensing costs at some discount or something. And that, that, that should be a prerequisite of any deal they make with Amazon, CBS, yep. NBC, Fox, whatever they do, TBS, wherever they are now, TNT, whatever it is doesn't matter the 11 different places where you can watch games mm-hmm. yeah that should be a thing dude okay, i would I, I would you could get 250 dollars out of me every august i would do it just yeah just I, for the I, pure i can just watch it <clears throat> not have to right. jump through the hoops I'm like do i gotta be a peacock this week or is it espn or do i have to just drink bleach like that's yeah. that's what yeah. i would do yeah well uh yeah yeah, there's probably some Russian pirated TV. Oh, there app are. Or something, there are. You know. There's like Stream East and all these other things. But they're, they get, look, I would rather just throw money at the problem and just just have it on my Apple TV and just yeah. one thing, yep. which I get pretty close with the HD home run. But it's like every once in a while I want to watch uh, like a different game that's not broadcast locally. Right. So, right. Yep. And then people, yeah, say, no, I, I, we were at my, uh, like, we had that's... friends out over whatever, probably New Year's, I guess. And my friend wanted to watch the, Patriots game and I was like, <laughs> like good luck you know there's no it just it's not possible <clears throat> sorry it's the insurtification of the NFL